Homie, you don't know me? Homie, you don't know me? What am I talking about, y'all? I'm talking about one of my favorite episodes of A Different World. I'm talking about the June 24th, 1993 episode of A Different World with our boy, Tupac Shakur. We had Sean Baker in that movie playing Champ. We had Monica Calhoun playing Yolanda. And of course, Jada Pinkett at that time, no Smith, playing Lena James. That episode was everything. It was directed by Kadeem Hardison. You guys know him as Dwayne Wayne. So Jada Pinkett Smith talks about that episode, of course, in her book and Kadeem Hardison, as he's been on a, a different world tour, he talks about directing that, saying that that episode pretty much directed itself. It was so simple and easy. Tupac was easy to direct. Um, and of course, they asked, hey, could Jada, could you, you think Tupac would do a different world? And they said, absolutely. And let me tell you something. They said Tupac lit up that set as soon as he came in. The charisma and the fineness had everybody screaming and hollering, the men and the women in that episode. And when I tell you Tupac was such a natural, you know, he was an amazing actor. And of course, him and Jada being tight since they were children, that was a great episode. And I can't, I can't forget to say how Lena James, Jada Pinkett's hair was laid. That French roll, that was all 1993. I used to do it too. And so did uh, Cindy from In Vogue and everybody used to wear that French roll and we weren't French. But that was such a great episode. So of course, the episode is about Lena James coming to college and her friends from Baltimore, shout out to Baltimore, uh, come to fictitious Hillman College. So Piccolo walks in with his maroon hat and his jacket and her homegirl Yolanda comes in with her swag and Sean Baker and they're on a college campus. They can get with their girl, you know, improving herself and getting her education at college, but they're like, she changed. So even Lena's like, asked Dwayne Wayne, Professor Wayne, have I changed? And he was like, do you mean if you got better since you've been here? Absolutely. And he said he went through the same thing. So Piccolo is her old boyfriend from around the way. And then she got Dorian, her new boo, her church boo, her uh, college boo. And he comes in, of course, still having love for Lena. Uh, Sean Baker who plays champ sees Gina and wants her. And then of course, Monica Calhoun, you know, sees her boo and wants him, you know, uh, Terrell, right? So it's so funny. The episode is, is so funny and it talks about how, you know, you come from the hood and you got your peoples, but then you're trying to improve and better yourself and you're going to college. And then you start seeing different things. You start experiencing different things. And of course, you you begin to shift in the way that you think, the way that you dress, maybe the way that you act, the things that were important to her. Because Lena said, because I got an agenda, how she said that on that. But, and of course, um, Piccolo was calling Dorian Choir Boy and he's vying for her attention. And, you know, her friends are like, you change, you still like Piccolo, pick, da, 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 da. And they start having a conversation. And, um, <clears throat> It's so, so good. You know, that's one of my favorite episodes of A Different World. And um, just Tupac did, he lit up the screen. That whole episode was great. When's the last time y'all saw it? And I hope you've seen it. I hope you've seen it all these years. But uh, one of the, you know, there's so many different scenes in there. But one of the scenes that really chokes me up because Tupac is not here. When he says, we'll grow old together, you know, Ozzy, Day, Ozzy Davis, excuse me, and Ruby D. And he was like, I'll still be checking for you if you're not all shriveled up, you know? And it's so sweet because they're friends and we know the history of them. And for him not to be here as we mature and get older, because Tupac and I are the same age, Jada and I are the same age, Tupac and I, our birthday is a day apart. 
So he would be, you know, turning 53 this year and he was 25 when he passed and he did that not to, you know, he did that in his early 20s in 1993, what, 22 years old. So to be able to um, not see him, you know, uh, is really disheartening and it's sad when you watch it in retrospect. But that was such a great episode of A Different World. That's still one of my all-time favorite shows, one of my all-time favorite episodes. So tell me what do you think about that episode and what stands out to you in that episode. Jada had her little outfit. When she walked up the stairs, she had them little jeans on and she was like with her little self. And she was like, don't look, you know, he's, it's so, it's, it's so cute. And then having the B side of the conversation with, you know, her friends trying to get with some of the college people there and how Gina and Terrell were pretending to be together because they was all up on them and they wasn't on that. They weren't on that kind of time. And even, um, and even Yolanda was like, well, you got a man, like, what's up with that? And Gina was trying to get with Piccolo and she was like, no, you know, even though that was her ex, she was like, she ain't trying to have her new friend, you know, be seeing her old boo. And then Yolanda's like, mm. But one of my favorite lines is when they're all in the girl's room in their dorm and they talk about um, Jada says she has an agenda and what she's trying to do with her life. And then Yolanda, you know, says, ain't nothing wrong with a city job. Me and my daughters quote that all the time. Ain't nothing wrong with a city job, you know, because everybody got a different agenda. Everybody got a different life, you know, a different world within their lives. And um, everybody's path is not the same. So everybody's path should still be considered and respected. And I think it's just such great dialogue. The direction was great. Kadeem Hardison did a great job. Um, and I started talking about that on my show, More Than Just a Movie, where we break down classic black films and TV and we were talking about directors and I started talking about how Kadeem Hardison directed that episode of A Different World and that was on my mind. So I was like, I had to come to y'all and talk about that episode. So check it out. If you haven't, let's talk about it in the comments. God bless y'all. It's Kendelanese, the Remix Coach. Peace.